Of course, uh, last couple of weeks, Jason's been talking about the weather change and a lot of things change when the weather changes, your activities shift. Uh, maybe what you're wearing shifts a little bit and you get dressed a little warmer and even what you drink might be yeah. shifting gears a little bit. Maybe ice cold lemonade sounds good in July or August, but ice cold lemonade when it's freezing cold outside might not be the greatest thing in the world. So our nutrition expert is with us right now, Sherry Clark, and she has some ideas of how to warm things things up. I do, I do. And the thing is, it, when the weather turns cold, we do want something warmer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really, it, there's a physiological reason. There's also a psychological reason. It feels good to nestle mm -hmm. up in your jammies with a hot mug right. of something. And a lot of times people will turn to coffee and people will drink coffee all day long. And some people say, oh, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect my sleep. And I would beg to differ. I bet that if they did some analysis or went into the sleep lab, they'd discover that their sleep, their REM isn't as consistent as they want. So one way to try that is to experience and to change things up. So I wanted to talk about hot beverages today, some alternatives to things other than coffee that we can drink that are fun. Okay, so tea is a natural thing right. that right. most people think of right away. So there's a lot of different ways of doing tea, and one way is to buy tea loose. That's the way that most gourmets or people... Like the gong fu tea type people. Exactly, okay. and I love gong fu. Mm. They're very helpful and they're really good. If you do, if you know nothing about tea, go in there and say, I know nothing about tea, and they'll give you a crash course. Yep, it's over great. in the East Village. Right. They're just nice people. Go say hi. They are great. So go in and get some loose tea there, and then what you can do, you can either have a tea kettle and make a whole big pot of it, or one of the things I like to do is... Mm, cool use this little gizmo here, the end twist twists off, and you just put your the loose tea in there, screw it back on, insert it into the hot water, and then it can go here. There's a little holder done. there too. And it, yes, it's got a holder. The holes in there will let the tea infuse. That's okay. the correct term for letting the tea. I've never seen anything. Like I've, I've seen tea, obviously holders, the but balls. I've never seen it like that. I love this thing. Then you can stir it in oh, and there. It can and be and like a stir stick too. It's very neat. And most of the time, most teas can be infused a second time. So oh, they're a good right. value. So the center uh, beverage that you have there is actually a tea. And while okay. you taste that, I'm going to tell you, you don't have to buy loose tea because some people are intimidated by that. Right. They don't want to go into the store. They don't want to drag it around. So they want to do tea bags because it's more convenient. You don't have to buy an apparatus. You can just simply use a bag. Oh, that's great. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, man. And it's that is called Bengal Spice. It's by Celestial Seasonings. You had me get some And of I've this. had you get some of yeah, that. Yeah, that's good. And what's, uh -oh, what's nice, it good for then if you got, if you made Jason drink it? It's, it's just a nice, what it is, it's a replacement for sweets. It's got a nice sweet oh. flavor without any sugar. It's a zero calorie. So it kind of takes that maybe hankering oil. Exactly. And then you have a cinnamon stick in the bottom. I put a does, cinnamon which stick. Which does jump out at you. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. So the cinnamon flavor comes through and that ramps that up. You can leave that out if you want. Mm -hmm. And then the orange slice I put on, I'm a big believer in garnishes about making a ceremony out of this. If you're going to have a cup of it's tea, you don't just orange. plunk a bag and, and sit down and really enjoy it. And that makes a Nice, a nice addition to the. You know, you can dress him up. <laughs> you know, he was gonna do that. He's a monster for Halloween. He definitely is mm. most of the time. So That's tea good. bags are another alternative. They're really convenient. Now let's remember this. In addition to being warm and and doing that whole grounding thing, okay. teas also serve a medicinal purposes in many situations. So. We've all heard about turmeric and how um, the, the things that the uh, ingredient in curry is an anti-inflammatory. It's good oh. when you're exercising. It helps your muscles feel a little That's less stiff. That's how you stiff. say turmeric? Turmeric. Okay, I've always called it Some turmeric. people say turmeric. Some turmeric. people say okay. turmeric. I think it's potato, potato. Yeah, okay. You say what you want. All just right. try it. And so this is a nice handy way of testing that. Okay. That would be one I would recommend. I also am a firm believer in peppermint tea. Luscious, delicious, good for soothing an upset stomach. It's really good for after dinner if you've eaten too much or whatever. That's a good option. Another one, you were kidding me before we came on, smooth move tea yeah. is exactly <laughs> what you would think. Ooh. It's a laxative tea. Um, it is not an explosive producing <laughs> a laxative. We could drink it before the show. You could it's drink not it a hyper laxative. <laughs> Correct. It, it's it, to be you know delicate with this topic. Um, you would not embarrass yourself if that were something that you drank and then you wouldn't be housebound. So remember <laughs> that there are lots of different. What does chocolate tea taste like? Is that like a, a hot chocolate? It doesn't taste like hot chocolate. Okay. I won't kid you. No, it's it it's it's okay. It's but you if you're drinking this, it's you've got to purpose. But there's options, you're saying, of, of the different kinds of treats. What's quick. the kind you recommended once, it, and say you go out on a weekend and have a little too much to drink? You're or have over some, served. You're, <laughs> you're over served. Yeah. You and you want to 
dandelion would be good for dandelion, that. Okay. Um, burdock tea and most herbal or ginger tea would be nice because it would settle your stomach. It depends on what your ailment is. And these traditional medicinals, this one here, uh, this is one Jackie we're familiar with because throat coat oh, is made yes. by these people too. And if you ever have a sore throat, boy, does that work. Yep, and it's yeah. really good for people in broadcasting because right. you know you can't have that whole <laughs> thing going on. So that's a, a great alternative. Now we're t we've talked about loose leaf teas and teas that are. You, when you think about what a tea looks like, it looks like dried up leaves. Right. There's another kind of tea, the green tea, the very very green tea that you're drinking in the clear glass. That is called matcha. Matcha. And I brought some matcha tea mm. that we can take a look at if you can get in on that. Matcha tea is a powdered tea and it's very, mm. very fine and very ground powdery looking substance. Um, and this is what it looks like and you can see it has um, an interesting it's kind of talc, talc I've like. never tasted that taste before. It's, it's almost smells like chocolate. It, it, yeah. You think it smells like chocolate? I don't think bit. it smells like chocolate, but then uh, I'm not drinking it. So um, what I did was I made a latte out of it. Now, I used hemp seeds, a little bit of vanilla, and a little bit of honey. You're kind of giving me a face, maybe. Th you're no, I, I like I, it. I feel, I feel like it tastes like uh, soybeans or peas or no, something. No, I like it. Honestly, I do. Like it's a, got an earthier taste to okay. it. Mm. For some, it's an acquired taste. I made it into a latte because I think it needs... I think it personally, it needs the Here, groundingness. Jason, do, you, do you like it? <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't my favorite, but why, why would I be drinking this? Is there benefits? It, there are benefits no. to it. it. It's got a little bit of caffeine, but it's not that, you know when you drink coffee sometimes and you get this spiky little rush and you're right. just right. like, Bleh! right. It's it's a lot more even. Even keel. And okay. um, it also, remember this, it's ground up leaves. So you're actually ingesting the tea. When you, when you drink a tea, the leaves stay in here. All you're drinking is the water when you're drinking matcha tea, you're actually, you're actually the whole thing. Exactly, so you're consuming it. So okay. that's one other option. So now let's look at the last cup. I saved mm. the best till last. Chocolate, hot chocolate. Yeah. So a lot of people drink hot chocolate, and a lot of people go to the store and they'll buy the national brand and right. whatnot, and they'll add sugar and they'll put it in milk and whatnot. And I'm here to tell you, there's other ways. Okay. So the other way is right in there. The other way is I made oh, some. <laughs> I made some cashew milk from scratch, which okay. is the easiest oh, milk yeah. in the world to make because you don't have to strain it. Then I use a really high quality chocolate powder. I don't use the national brands that have added sugar and added right. milk solids. I, this is just simply organic cacao. And this isn't the only brand in town. I, you know, you can get with the kinds that you like, but no additives is the whole idea. And then I put in a little bit of sweetener. In your case, I put in just a tiny dab of maple syrup. I could have used stevia if I wanted to use a little less sweetener. Okay. And I think it's perfectly, fabulously oh, good. wonderful. Really good. Now, we're coming up on trick or treat. I know a lot of parents will mm, take their hot beverages around while the kids are at the door and whatnot mm. in their little mug. This is mug. really good. If you wanted mm. to enhance your hot chocolate, <laughs> hello, you can add this, and I'll let you uh, add your your own. It, that is a I got that at Vom Foss. It's a nut chocolate, and it just adds a, a little chocolate. bit of a beautiful. It's a chocolate that, enhancement. That's an interesting smell too. Yeah. It adds a little bit of extra oomph to the hot chocolate. So what chocolate. is this? This is it's a, a liqueur. It is a liqueur. Mm -hmm. And here's what, here's my, in, if you take away nothing else from this whole exercise, remember that the highest quality <laughs> ingredients that you Go use. Go easy there, Rummy. <laughs> I should have brought the big one, right? <laughs> Half gallon. <laughs> the highest quality ingredients you use are going to, uh, or the quality of ingredients that you use are going to affect what it is that you end up with as a, as a net result. Thanks for staying with yeah. me, Lou. Okay, no, I understand. No, it, it, there is a difference. There, there truly a is a difference. There's a big difference. It does. Yeah. And Ooh, so good. if you're going to put a little bit of a oomph into your hot chocolate do good stuff don't just pour in a whole bunch of cheap schnapps get some good stuff this might be the best hot chocolate <laughs> I've ever had. I thought you would like even that. before the liqueur seriously this and is really no, this is very good and it takes away all that excess sugar things like yeah. that and so real quick we have some ideas in case you don't want to hand out candy yes I, that's the last thing I want to say today is um, I know we give away hot, the candies to the kids and the chocolates and that kind of thing and the kids all love that and I don't want anybody to slash my tires or TP <laughs> my yard but there are options and the other options would include <laughs> toys so oh. You can, we can oh, do like
expensive toy. And the things that are kids are going to have these for more than fun. five minutes. Exactly. Oh, and cute. here, Maybe look ten. at these things. What a cute idea. I think they're fabulous. And there's all kinds of, we can, there's. And where, did you, get, where did you get these trinkets from? Um, you can buy them in the, in the hobby stores and whatnot, uh, Hobby Lobby. I got this one online at Oriental Trading. Um, but what oh, that's a good place, too. Yeah, Dollar <laughs> Store has these, too. Yes. Okay, so get awesome them, things. Get some little trinkets. And here's my suggestion. Buy them this year, the day after Halloween, and put them away for next year. It'll be inexpensive. Smart. and It's it's just oh, the way to go. All right. Smart, 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 smart. Here's where we get more information about what Sherry does, fork-road.com. She, she answers questions, too. You're really good at answering questions. You're I really love good answering at, questions. I'm getting back to people, too. Yes, so. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, you betcha. Cheers, everyone.